Hi guys, welcome to the second tutorial in switching from Squarespace to WordPress. In the following tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install your uh, flow theme or any other WordPress theme for that matter. And then I will explain some more details on the WordPress backend and how that will work for you. So as we previously mentioned, to log into your site, you can go to the site URL, whether that is the temporary URL or the main uh, URL of your site. Again, it's unlikely as your domain should, will, will remain on Squarespace until you're ready to launch. Uh, log in, put wp-admin at the end, and that will get you to the dashboard. And once you're in your dashboard, so again, I'll just show you that if I wanted to go to the dashboard here. Just add wp-admin, and we're in the WordPress dashboard. Now, to install a theme, it's really simple. If you go to Appearance, then go to themes. Then you'll just want to hit add new. And here you'll just want to click upload theme. You can choose it here by choosing a file and then going to your downloads if you have downloaded the theme. Uh, if you haven't downloaded your theme, you can go to your account with flow themes and then to your download section and you can download the product. Now, just be wary if you're on a Mac um, if you download uh, download the theme, it may be unzipped whenever it's downloaded. If that is the case, please rezip the file. It should be a .zip file, um, but as I said, if it's if it's unzipped, please rezip it. So I'll just give you a quick overview of how that will work. So for example, I've downloaded uh, Lovely here, and if it just so happens to be unzipped uh, like so, all you have to do is go ahead and rezip that file. So just go to compress. And that will rezip the file up to the correct format with that .zip file. In my case, it wasn't unzipped, so I'm just going to go ahead and upload that file. Uh, again, it could be, it should be any the name of the theme uh, and the version um, .zip. So in this case, it's lovely two. Uh, 0.2 is the version .zip. And I'm just going to go back here again, and I'm just going to drag and drop that in. Again, you can choose it if uh, if you find it in the correct directory. All you have to do now is click install and let it run. Uh, once it's installed, we will uh, simply activate the theme. And then uh, with that, we will uh, be a quarter of the way to getting started with your new site. So let's just hit uh, activate. So you can see it was successfully installed. If you're having troubles uh, or issues with this uh, checkout or troubleshooting tutorial and documentation, it will give you some details on how to troubleshoot issues with installation. You'll see at the top here, there is uh, some recommended plugins and one that is required. So this will be the first thing you'll want to do whenever you get installed. Uh, you can go and click uh, begin installing plugins. And I would recommend installing both Flow Updater and Flow Forms. They're going to be uh, both useful. Flow Updater is required. Um, it will give you the automatic updates for your theme. So highly recommend doing that. Once you've uh, clicked install, then click back to required plugins, and then you can simply activate those. Uh, you can also activate those by just going to appearance and, th and plugins, or plugins, sorry, and uh, just activating those as well. So I'm just going to activate both, or you can just click activate. And now if I go to plugins, you'll see that I have the uh, flow of updater and the flow forms plugin added. Uh, WordPress automatically adds Hello Dolly plugin and uh, some uh, service providers will uh, offer some other options for that as well. For example, Jet by Jetpack by WordPress. I don't really need that plugin. Um, honestly, it's not something I, I feel that you will need with your site. So I would recommend deactivating it and deleting it um, as it can be. I can bloat your site just that little bit. Um, that is one thing that you should always be wary of when using WordPress. Try not to add too many plugins as it can just add a little bit too many, too many scripts to your site and start to slow things down. So only ever use it if you really need them. So now we have uh, your flow theme uh, added. I'll just give you a quick overview of the WordPress backend. So all the navigation here is on the left hand side. And here you have um, three things. One is uh, post types. Now that would be slideshows, posts, galleries. Then you're going to have pages. 
And then finally, you're gonna have your flow themes user area as well. So down here at the bottom, uh, flow themes. Again, there's some other, other details here uh, from different plugins and uh, they're all added in here as well. But the main things you'll, you'll need uh, going forward will be posts, galleries, slideshows, your posts, your post types, your pages, and then media is your media library. So that's literally all of the media that has been uploaded or added to your site. Right now, this is a fresh install, so there's nothing here. Um, but again, you will be, as you upload things to your site, it will all be stored in this media library. Now, you also have the flow themes area, and this will be the area you look at for your global settings. And you can just go through each of these. Again, it is all covered in the tutorials, and we explain how to use each of these sections to your benefit, whether that is uh, from selecting your header type, uploading your logo, to right through to your footer as well as any global settings for your galleries, posts, and pages. So you also have individual settings, um, but they will be on a post per post basis um, for the global settings and for settings for everything, uh, it will be in the flow themes area. The next thing to do once we have installed flow themes and you've got everything uh, ready, there's a few things you can do right at the start that will be quite useful for you. Now, if you have uh, Google Analytics added, you will want to add that to your site. And to do that, you can go to flow themes, introduction, optional settings. And in here, you can add your Google Analytics code. Now, this will be useful if you want to track your website and uh, see how well it's performing uh, once it's launched. So again, it is uh, recommended that you add this at one, uh, one stage or another, um, but you can do it at the start and then you'll be ready for whenever you launch. You can also add a favicon and that's the little icon that will be in uh, the menu up at the top here. So it could be this little icon behind, beside the name of your site. As you can see here, the little CP, for example, you can just add your own icon file. And again, uh, if you need to um, upload your own, again, check out our tutorials on how to do that. Uh, the next thing that can be done will then be uh, shown in the next tutorial, and that will be how to export and import content from uh, Squarespace into WordPress.